Hey guys, it's the Riker Dane. I'm going to review the top three Bluetooth headsets that are on the market today. So let's check them out. So I'm going to review the Motorola S10 HD, the LG HBS 730, and the brand new LG HBS 750. So let's start first with the Motorola S10. The S10 is an older model. There's already an S11 out on the market, but the S11 seemed kind of flimsy and cheap and uh, a lot of users have had them break on them. Uh, the S10 is a little bit more durable and it really cancels that noise. So this is where you turn the power on and start seeing the blinking light come on that will pair with your um, smartphone. And on this left side is where you can take a call or turn the volume up and down and on the right side is where you can play skip forward or skip backwards on your songs and if you flip the headset over you'll find the port for where you open it up to charge it and it will hold anywhere from 8 to 10 hours of charge uh, depending on how much you're using it but like I said this headset is really really good especially for sports and fitness because it's really gonna stay on your head it's not gonna go anywhere it stays in your ears and it really cancels all the sound so when I put them on and I listen to music I can skip play skip forwards skip backwards take a call or put my volume up or down when I've got them on I can't hear anything else besides the music or the voice call now one drawback with this headset is that if you have to listen to somebody talking to you you have to pull down the one side and then it kind of messes up your other ear when you do that so then you have to grab both sides and pull it down if somebody's talking to you. So they're not really good to have while you're with friends, but if you're truly just running or if you're just working out by yourself, they're definitely good because they're going to cancel that noise because you won't hear anything at all. You're definitely going to be in your own world with these on. Okay, so let's move on to the LG HBS 730. This Bluetooth headset came out last year and it's a really good one too. On the side here is where you turn your power on and off and as you can see the light blinks because it's going to connect with your smartphone and then to take a call you can press the button right there where it's blinking to take a call or your volume and then on this side you can pause and skip forward skip backwards on your songs. Now as you probably already have noticed this style is a lot different than the Motorola. This style Bluetooth sits around your shoulders or around your neck and then the little earbuds will go right up to your ears and you've got adjustments here and then the earbuds also are magnetic so whenever you're not listening you just clip them back in they kind of snap back in but that's what the bottom looks like this headset is very light and you won't even know they're around your neck and here's a spot where you plug your charger into it and on a full charge you will be able to listen to music for up to 10 hours and the sound quality of this headset is really really good the earbuds are really good and they really lock into your ears and they really cancel any noise and then when you're done listening you can just take them down and click them in because they're magnetic and right into the headset and like I said before if you have to listen to something you can just take one earbud out at a time if you have to listen to somebody talking to you or a friend or whoever and you can just put it right back in and be listening in the other ear at the same time. Now you can move your head all over the place and these earbuds won't fall out. They really lock in. So you press the call button to take calls or make a call and you click the right side to play and pause or skip forward and back on your songs. I definitely like this headset because you're able to take out one earbud to listen to somebody while not interrupting your music. So let's move on to the HBS 750. This is basically an upgrade from the 730. This is this year's model. And this is really one of the best Bluetooth headsets on the market right now, the best bang for the buck. So on that same side, you've got your call and volume button. And on, the, on this side, you've got your pause and skip forward and back on your songs. Also, your on and off button is on the inside rather than the outside. And then you've got your place where you plug in the charger. So once you turn that on, you'll start seeing the light flash connecting with your smartphone. And same thing as before, you've got magnetic earbuds that will just go right in whenever you're done listening. 
so they won't be uh, flying around. And this is the bottom. As you can see, it's a little bit curved, so it's going to fall down your neckline, kind of curve, wrap around your shoulders. Then you've got adjustments for your earbuds uh, if you want them to come up the side of your head or up behind your head and, and wrap around your ears. But this 750 is has really good sound. It has really good noise canceling earbuds. You won't hear anything when you have your earbuds in. So the controls on the 750 are going to be just like the 730 except the 750 has the controls on the side instead of on the top like the 730. So one really cool feature that I like is that when you're getting a call in and your earbuds are not in, the headset will actually start vibrating on your neck so that you know you have a call because you're not going to hear your phone ringing because your earbuds are not in. So that's really cool. And as you can see from this side view, there's a little bit more curvature to this headset so it kind of rests on your shoulders a little bit better. But also you can move your head around as much as you want. Those earbuds aren't going to fall out and you can adjust where you want that cord to be. But like I said, you can take one earbud out to listen to somebody and still have music going in the other ear. So let's compare the 730 and the 750 side by side. As you can see, there's a lot of big noticeable design changes. On the uh, 750, all your controls are on the side, and on the 730, everything is on the top, which is not that big of a deal. The power button's on the inside. On the 750 and on the black 730s, the power button is on the outside. So not a lot of differences. You still have the same controls, but the 750 tries to keep the controls on the side a little bit more hidden to show off its new design. And the audio quality is a lot better on the 750 as well. So here are some price points for each one of these Bluetooth headsets as of 424, 2014. So I didn't get too technical on the specs for each one of these Bluetooth headsets. That's something you'll have to check out on your own. I just wanted to show you the features I like and the differences in design for each headset. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.